All right, here, uh, new for uh, 2010 on the Rogue Gators, uh, the big obvious change is going to be with our front entry. Um, we change from a side entry to a front entry on there to try and make it easier for the operators to get up and down. Wide handrails, bump the handrails out as you get up closer to the top to give the operators more room. And we keep a nice wide walkway all the way from the front of the machine past the cab all the way to the back. Nice wide door opening getting into the cab. Uh, just again, making things easier for the operator. And with that, we were able to drop the booms, the boom rests, down much lower. Um, and that, when the booms are racked, they're lower, they're out of the sight line, so safer and easier to drive while you're going down the road. You don't have any booms in the way obstructing anything. Uh, with the front reload, we're offering as well a front, or with the front entry, we're offering a front reload. And this gives the operators the ability to drive straight up to the tender truck without having to fold the booms in. This speeds up the, the reloading cycle. This front reload can be used to push the product on or you can still use the product pump to pull the load into it so it still has that flexibility. As an air clean out so we can blow the product back to the tank um, and also back to the tenders cleaning out both lines to prevent any spills or contamination. Other changes that we had, um, color went to a Challenger yellow, kind of fit in with that family. Changed a little bit with our reload station, uh, having a little bit more room here. We have a hand hand wash tank for the operators, a two inch fill going up to the uh, top rinse tank for the product tanks. We have color coded valves on the reload station, make reloading easier. Uh, even for the first time operator, they can figure out how to use this thing. Uh, changed up the plumbing a little bit. We can reload 1,100 gallon tank in a little over five minutes. Product tanks have increased 100 gallons from last year, so our 800s are now 900 gallon units. Uh, last year's thousands are now 1100s, and our big sprayer is now 1300. On the side panel here, we have our side post buttons. Um, those are going to be the buttons that the operator will use when ever he's starting or stopping a field. So that'll be the boom swings, the tip bolts, turning the pump on and off. Um, adjusting the agitation, things like that. So he's, it's not a regular use button. Um, so that's what he'll find over on the side. On, on the uh, armrest here, on the hydro handle, everything on here is the functions that he'll use while he's running through the field. We have our section shutoffs are the green switches. Um, our foam marker left and right switch is the black switch. And our boom tilts and boom rays are the blue switches there on the bottom. And then the red switch down here is the master on off. So turning the all boom sections on or off, you know, at the headlamps. And then on the back side of the handle, it's got the gear selector for shifting gears up and down. So the idea is once he gets going, he doesn't even have to take his hand off the hydro handle to do anything else. Uh, on this, down here on the side, we have four switches for our individual wheel tracking. Uh, so you can move out one tire or all four, whatever he wants to do if he wants to run wide track or a stagger track. You can run the front scenario and the rear is wide if you want to leave doubles. Um, and we have our throttle position. The yellow switch over there is our safety switch. You push that down, none of the hydraulic boom functions will work. So you don't accidentally swing the boom out while you're running down the road. It's just a little safety feature. The display over here will show them what gear that the machine is in. And then we have two lines of information. The top line stays constant and you can select from many different things to put in there whatever you want to watch. The bottom one switches between three different presets if you want that many. So you can just come into the more info button, say I want line two, and then you can go down and say, well I want to watch my engine oil pressure. You hit that and engine oil pressure will come up on the bottom line. So on the dash we have just your standard RPM, speed, fuel level, water temperature, oil temperature, voltage, and then you have your warning lights if anything else is going on, going wrong, come up on there. On your turn signal, you have your high beam, low beam, turn signal, and horn. And then across the top over here, we have our automatic temperature control. You can set whatever temperature you want the cab to be at. And then we have our wipers and all the different lighting options that you might have in there. Up front, we have our 
nozzle pressure gauge, telling you what the pressure is on the boom, our pump pressure gauge, and our sparge position or tank agitation. So you can adjust how much agitation is you know, rolling in the tank. And that's just a visual indicator on where that's at. On this side we have our radio, and then there's an empty blank over there for them to uh, put in uh, an FM band, two-way radio, or uh, any other piece. We have connectors back there for them to hook up GPS units, um, or just extra power supplies for any electronics.